don't have a topic today i was just gonna go with the flow we normally talk about eating for your blood type and why is that important because your blood and the food that you eat create a chemical reaction called lectins and it could cause inflammation in your body and so we're finding out how important that is as it pertains to fitness your stress levels inflammation sickness and disease in your body it's all linked because everything is connected and everything is governed underneath the law of divine oneness <laughs> isn't that interesting and so and so the bloodline that you stem from oh yeah i love watermelon hey dana the bloodline that you stem from is really important for you to know because your ancestors ate a certain type of diet your ancestors <laughs> We're more conscious and they escape sickness and disease way better than what we have been doing right now in this time or this season but that's not a negative thing because we spiral down to get to know self and we're returning back to self you know that we just do this over and over you know this is why civilizations rise and fall right because we are just having human experiences we go in and out of consciousness right so this is not a bad thing because we're in the age of Aquarius, the age of knowing, just like in the biblical text when it says, when will be the sign of the age of thy coming? So this is that season. It's not that somebody's going to crack through the sky. It's going to be the season when, when dormant DNA is going to be reactivated, when people are going to remember. And they're going to take their journey a little bit more serious, but yet at the same time, having fun along the way because we're just learning how to re- manipulate energy all over again but yeah Dana asked me if I eat watermelon I love watermelon the summer started over here out here in in Arizona already but this is my first year out here and I ain't seen a darn real watermelon main on side the road yet like I used to in New Orleans <laughs> but back in New Orleans I knew my watermelon man and I would eat watermelon and that day I didn't eat nothing else because watermelon and i would even swallow the sweet seeds too because watermelon cleans out your digestive system and even for men watermelon the rind of the watermelon you can juice it you just have to have a powerful enough juicer one of those commercial kinds you juice the rind of the watermelon and it helps men with erectile dysfunction it kind of creates aphrodisiac type um energy hey calm choice thank you for being here and so it helps with blood flow and that's pretty, pretty much what erection and arousals and things like that is all, all about so people you know men with you know prostate issues erectile dysfunction the rind of the watermelon is really really helpful it's really really powerful so what are we talking about today i don't have a subject we normally talk about different blood types but i'm gonna let y'all choose today any questions anything in particular that you want to know for those of you who already purchased the meal plan how's it going how you feeling mm -hmm. are you seeing results are you feeling better let me know hey joseph thank you for being here <laughs> thank y'all for passing through for those of you who are new to me i am goddess just be and i help people in the areas of mind body and soul and i have two pages god is just be over here and God is just be healthy on my backup page. Hello, hello, love faces. Thank you, Victoria. Thank you for joining. Hey, Whistler. Fibroids. Calm Choice has a question on fibroids. Um, fibroids actually is is, is is that's the same family as a tumor or cysts or mucus. It go through different stages. Your highly beneficial oil on your on your um, food list. The link is in my bio will get past and soften all of this whole old fecal matter eliminate the mucus when it, it starts off as mucus it turns into cysts then it gets harder it's a tumor or fibroids right it's telling you that the body is acidic it's time for a lifestyle change it's time for highly beneficial oils that will lubricate and soften these stones gallstones kidney stones all of this is just telling you this acid's present it's just basic chemistry you either on an aesthetic range with your diet or your choice or you want an alkaline um range for diet i mean for your body right and so 
consuming your beneficial oils lubricate the body and help this come untacked to the walls of wherever you have your cyst, your tumor and whatever you got to break through that it's depending upon your um blood type um oftentimes peppers can burst through those clogged arteries but if you a blood type a i don't know your blood type you can't ha handle these your blood is i mean your body is sensitive to spices so you can't handle that many so if you were a that highly beneficial um uh herbal potion would help you loosen it up and detoxing sustain detox that'll replenish all of the iodine the magnesium because magnesium and iodine is needed throughout the entire body throughout every organ to help to detox the body and to help you at a cellular level for cleansing there's a product called sustained detox on my website that'll help you with fibroids as well because it gets rid of old fecal matter it cleans the liver kidneys lymphatic system and you clean your whole body because it's cleaning you at a cellular level and so once all your cells are clean all of that will begin to fall out the old fecal matter the acids will be no more and you would be, have a new foundation a new start but you got to get rid of the old in order to bring in a new and so just changing your diet don't do that sometimes because we'll be having old sludge and old mucus and you know an old cysts and old tumors that your body really because it's infinite intelligence it tucked that thing away it tuck it away and hid it behind maybe some fat deposits or whatever just to save your life just like the parasites that be up in the gut the parasites the parasites that be up in the gut they be tucked away underneath a lipid coating right so they have lipid coating a lipid coating on i see some kind of line on that one the lipid coating is protecting the parasite inside so you whatever you're giving it to kill or die off it ain't gonna get past the lipid coating it'd be your highly beneficial oil that converts through the coating so that's why i say in conjunction to detoxing make sure you're using your at-home herbal potion available on my website in the bundle because that oil is your highly beneficial oil to get past the lipid coating of viruses to soften up those those tumors the cysts but oftentimes we use in toxic oil that's tearing up our, our digestive system like corn oil canola oil you know like sunflower oil peanut oil yeah so that's my suggestion and it'll be reversed and if any sickness and disease can be reversed type o blood problems with cholesterol and high blood pressure high blood pressure is thick tacky blood so how did the blood get thick and tacky well guess what that lymphatic system got clogged up you know we 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 get all changes y'all on our car but we go 20 30 40 50 60 years without even doing a detox i'm talking about i ain't talking about a one day detox i'm talking about a 30 day detox like sustained detox is on my website you if if not you have thick tacky blood that's just like with a car you know when your oil is not being changed you, you're messing up the car so you're messing up your avatar self when you don't change your oil per se you don't detox your body from old fecal matter the old slime and stuff the tacky blood why would the blood be getting tacky you really logically need to think about that well, your blood is getting tacky because the backup to the blood the lymphatic system is not filtering and so that means them kidneys not flowing because once when the kidneys are working the proper way of it working is that it's going in and catching toxins and maybe you'll have a lymph node that will get swollen and that is saying hey hey i got it i got the toxin now could you give me a drink to help break this thing up could you give me maybe some key lime or some some lemon water you know to drink I mean to, to thin this up to break up this this here toxin so that it can fall down your lymphatic system and roll all the way up out of here that it can go to the adrenal glands and be released via your kidneys but oftentimes if we don't do that and we go back to eating pork chop and just drink regular water it don't without minerals oftentimes 
that just sits up in here and it becomes hard as a rock and then we decide okay well we're gonna we're gonna take our tonsils out we're gonna go in and remove it our body is not designed to be going in and just cutting it up that's why i'm here it's time to eat for right for your blood type it's time to give your body the very thing that it's been craving all the while you getting this here so that's what high blood pressure is eat right for your blood type detox your body it's time it's the season if you had high blood pressure season you need to be detoxing bottom line you got too much of a load of toxicity in your body and your blood is not being cleaned enough by the lymphatic system because the lymphatic system is backed up so the a good drink like i said for the lymphatic system is for you to stop um you know maybe consuming soft drinks and hot drinks with high fructose corn syrup in here and consume more of drinks that you make fresh at home out of simple spring water key limes lemonade and some agave start drinking that more and make sure you're using the right kind of salt that has magnesium in it your salt should have color so for high blood pressure i would definitely recommend celtic sea salt celtic sea salt is high in magnesium and you need that to help to detox your body magnesium is necessary for every organ in the body for detoxing magnesium helps you sleep magnesium go help you with that high blood pressure magnesium 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 yeah what are all the things i can do with my alchemist oil can i use it internally yes you can use the alchemist oil internally and externally you can use it, um, sure, I put like maybe two or three drops when I take a bath. I use it for oil pulling. I use it for when I'm cooking food, like if I'll cook maybe some beans or something that I want a little kick or spice to or, or um, you know, something I just want to kick to, I'll use it inside of that recipe i'll use it on all of my meats that i ever cook for anybody to clean it you know you clean your meat with you know you put it in a bowl of water and you let it you know rinse off you're rinsing it with maybe some coconut vinegar some lemon and then i'll put like three to five drops of the alchemist oil because it the alchemist oil kills parasites you use it as a natural biotic antibiotic if you're sick because it's part of the at home herbal potion that's available on my website it's so many things you can do with the alchemist oil. If you have like gout, you know, arthritis, pain, you can use it externally that way. If you have mucus on your chest, if you, you know, when you're sick or whatever, can't breathe, you can put it on your chest. Mm -hmm. You need to break up the mucus. It is good for pain and numbing too. So don't forget about that. You have a toothache, put it, dilute it a little bit and put it on your gums. If you have a toothache, you know, ear infection or ache, put it, you know, around the ear and you know right right here in the middle to help loosen and that particular mucus hello hello but yeah it has a lot of hey sheldon hey cornella hey helen how you doing today what did you do to improve your eyesight this is the same detox that's what i did i started detoxing in the beginning i did the detox you know maybe every three months because i was full of it i took a break and so after that i cut back um you know i did every three months taking a break in between and then i would you know slow down and kind of like did it um six months after and then i went to like you know maybe once um a week instead of doing the whole 30 day time so now i consume the sustained detox here and there when i make the product and i have a little bit of overflow I'll put them in some empty gel capsules and I'll take you for a couple of days. But sustained detox helped me so much because, and I was only creating it for me at that time, it helped me so much because your ability to eliminate and absorb minerals is key to your vision. Another thing I did with, for my um, site is I stopped letting them um, talk me into getting stronger prescription. Because what I began to realize was that 
every time I got a stronger prescription, my eyes seemingly got weaker and weaker and I couldn't see. It was putting more of a strain. And so the doctors, you know, they won't tell you, hey, 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 Queen B, how you doing, babe? So it, they won't tell you the fact that that strain is making your vision worse too. So you gotta be careful with that. So I kept my, you know, my last prescription longer than the year. You know, you go once a year to get it checked. And, you know, they checked me and my, my vision had been improving and they questioned it and still wanted to go up on a prescription. And I was like, no, I don't want to do that. Not knowing at the time that I was doing everything internally in my internal side, you know, my gut was healing, which was why my vision cleared. But in hindsight, now I better understand, you know, because hindsight is always 2020. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. What about palm oil? Hey, Barbara, how you doing today? I don't, I don't mess with that. Not the palm oil, no. I just use um, a particular brand. Brand of what? What do you mean? A particular brand of what? Um, is that Eugenia? But no, I don't use any palm oil. That's not a highly beneficial oil. So I, I just try to do, you know, the high beneficial ones. Oh, cause I do plantain chips and it's in there. Yeah. Well, you gotta make that conscious decision if you're gonna use them or let them go. Because a lot of the potato chips have the worst oils because if you think business minded, and that's why I really don't like buying stuff from other people because I take it to that level of, I need to know the oil. That's why I don't like going out to different restaurants and stuff because I know what kind of oil they cooking with back there because I know from a business standpoint point when it comes to food because I I actually have a license for that and um, had a um, vegan food truck out in New Orleans Louisiana I know even at restaurant depot that it is hard to find mm -hmm. the healthier oils and not only that if you do find them they're more expensive so it'd be about money so it's easy for a potato chip company to give you know, to buy the bulk of the canola oil and the palm oil and the peanut oil, the most toxic of all for every blood type. It's easy for them to do that and they make way more money than investing in a real pure, highly beneficial, maybe olive oil. Yeah, or even if they did that highly beneficial olive oil and they just used it on everything, now <laughs> that's not really good because you can't fry with olive oil. Because olive oil is a de delicate oil and after a certain heating point now it's rancid so now it's toxic so you got to really be mindful when you get to you know your consciousness you pick your battles pretty much and so do you want to continue with you know eating the potato chip that's been soaked in the palm oil or do you want to find another maybe snack that's bet more beneficial or do you want to consume it and and just say oh to heck with it after I eat the potato chip I'll just go ahead and drink my at-home herbal potion to balance it out. I mean, you could always manipulate the energy. It depends upon where you are when you help journey, you know, or even deeper than that. Do I want to just believe and just bless my food and consider all is well and that nothing shall by no means harm me? You always have a decision to make. You know, it's not like, you know, you want to be afraid of these things or, you know, bobbing and weaving for, for, from them to create more of them. You just want to be wise about them and don't overindulge yourself in them and better understand why you're stressed, why you're sick, why you're inflamed, so you can stay on the alkaline side. Now, I'm not saying we need to go all the way up to 14, you know, the pH range goes from 0 to 14. 7 and below is acidic. 7 and above is more alkaline, but we don't want to get up there by you no know, um, ammonia and stuff like that, right? <laughs> we want to be right there at 7.35 right there in the middle yeah so too much of you know anything good they got a potato chip from new orleans and i never ever on purpose read yes capsules came in today good for you so stay will be here friday i'm so excited don't forget to, forget to leave an honest review on my website queen b um so we got to get to a point you know where, where we're not really fearful of that we really do. We gotta pick our battles is what my whole point was gonna be. Yeah. 
I say, what do you say? Hello, how do you use alchemy oil with the sustain? Um, you could oil pull with it and then take your sustain. You could um, use it after or during your sustain. I mean, these are herbs. These are not the type of herbs that you have to stay away from and watch. If, if anything, the only thing I will tell you is just, you know, make sure you dilute that uh, alchemist oil because it will burn you. Don't think that it is, um, I'm just saying that it will burn you. So dilute it with a carrier oil that's highly beneficial for your blood time. Yeah, I just purchased the bundle. Oh, congratulations. I did hear, I did hear the phone chirp just a little bit. And I wondered if that was a purchase or an email from me. I most definitely will. Yeah, do that. Um, let's see. Let's see, did I miss something? The capsules came in today. Oh yeah, I, I see it now, yeah. Can you all pull with olive oil as a carrier? Yeah, that would be a good one too. You could, I mean, to be honest with you, and I said this yesterday, I love to oil pull with coconut oil. And coconut oil isn't highly beneficial because of the saturated fats, but it's the thick consistency of it, and I'm just, putting it in my mouth to spit out because I'm oil pulling I'm using the coconut oil to pull other things out that's really my favorite of all regardless of it not being highly beneficial but coconut oil does have the amino acids it is anti-inflammatory too and it is really really good to get past that lipid coating on any viruses or any sickness that might be up in this particular area it'll pull that forward one step once that because see as soon as something touches your tongue it is it, it's pretty much sending a signal that to your whole body it penetrates that it's coming down so now your whole body knows that there's an oil substance that's anti-inflammatory that has amino acids and that is going to have a that has the proper lipids to capture and uh, pop them other lipid coatings of the virus like right and so I still believe that it is beneficial after I, I know it's still beneficial, even though it's not beneficial in the area of saturated fats, it's beneficial in oil pulling. But you can use your other highly beneficial oils, whether they, you know, be your um, olive or walnut or whatever else is highly beneficial on your meal plan to consume. Yeah, you can use whatever one you like. Just stay away from the corn oil, the peanut oil, um, sunflower oil. These are the oils that ain't good for nobody. The castor oil, the um, canola oil. Stay away from those because they're pretty much on mostly all of the, <laughs> the list of don't fool with it. Don't put it in your body, kind of like if you do be as minimum as possible you know because you, you're not going to be able to escape if you go out to restaurants and fast food places here and there you're not going to be really able to escape some of them because that means you will never visit chick-fil-a no more because chick-fil-a fried things in peanut oil you know and if you didn't know that prior i mean you know prior to going there then you could do peanut oil <laughs> Then you got over that inflammation, but just don't try not to frequent them type of places that often and try to use your highly beneficial oil so you can balance everything out is my point here. <sighs> I'm not changing the subject. Just wanted to update you on my three-day fast, second day. Oh, okay. Five pounds already. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you was doing the water? Oh, my goodness. That's pretty cool already. Yeah. Yeah, I um, <laughs> I did a 90 day, but I never did. I never did weigh myself, and I didn't because it was more of a spiritual thing than anything. So I didn't want to get in how many pounds I lost, but I know I did because my legs, um, you know, in my pants they got room, you know, <laughs> way more room than I used to have. But I didn't weigh myself. But I'm happy for you. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah. Let me see if I missed something up here while I'm rolling uh, can you repeat what you get from Amazon to use in conjunction with your products Amazon that would be where you go to get your your um, Elden at home kit that's the only thing that I'd be talking about getting from Amazon Elden E-L-D-O-N at home kit 
and you prick your finger in the privacy of your home and you put your blood on the cord, the four circles on the cord, and after you do that, now you know your blood type. And so it come in a little Ziploc, the, the um, kit, and there's a cord inside of it. The cord be inside of this little pouch here. And then they'll have like a, a nail, I mean a needle, a nail, <laughs> a needle for you to prick your uh, ring finger. And this would be like the cheat code. And when your blood hits that card with the um, four circles, it'll form an image. If your blood looks like these four copper looking penny images, that means the plasma in your blood identified you as being a O negative blood type. And so now three minutes, and you now know what your blood type was or is. And now you can eat for your blood type. So then you can go to my website. That's what I be, you know, putting together. After you get your blood type, you go to my website and, and purchase the bundle. So that way you will know your highly beneficial foods for your blood type. You would have your cheat code, your weight loss cheat code. That means all of the foods that when you eat them, that you will instantly lose weight. And so I set up my website. It's linked, first of all, in my bio. This is what a bio looks like. It's at the top of my TikTok page. And so it's right there. And that's my website. It's also on the screen, salt of the earth, but you have to put dot org and you'll be going the same place. www.saltoftheearthpub.org will get you here. And so the bundles that I'm talking about are right here. The third one is the most valuable one because you get everything in that package. The first one is you get your detox, sustained detox, which we were just talking about a 30 day herbal detox that's beneficial for all blood types, especially blood type O because all six herbs up in here are highly beneficial for them. The other blood types, there are three highly beneficial um, herbs up in there. And the other three, they're, um, they're highly neutral. So they benefit you, but they do not anything you need to avoid. Um, that's comes together with the alchemist oil, which we were just talking about, which is a parasite cleanser. So for the person I was asking about the sustained detox and the alchemist all together, you read in the body of all fecal matter, cleaning it at a cellular level, getting rid of uh, um, toxins, killing parasites, and not just the adult parasites, the worms, but the larva, eggs, and everything that it secretes when it's dying out and trying to turn over because parasites have life cycles. If you're cleaning your liver, your gallbladder, your kidneys, all at the same time with sustained detox and alchemist all bundled. That's the first one. The second one is just a meal plan. It'll tell you the highly beneficial foods and um, the ones to, to, to avoid. You get your at-home herbal portion in the second one too. And, um, and that's it. But the most valuable bundle would be the last. You get the at-home herbal potion. And that, the, when I say at-home herbal potion, I'm talking about your highly beneficial oil, your highly beneficial herbs, alchemist oil you put together and now you have an antibiotic for the rest of your life if you ever get sick if you ever get you know any type of dis disease or disharmony you know now what your blood type needs in order to heal your body so the at home per herbal portion come in the last bundle you get the seven day meal plan in the last bundle you get the weight loss cheat codes in the last bundle and so you you, you went in the food list to avoid and the highly beneficial food too is there. So this meal plan is telling you what you could eat. Ideas of breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, your juices, your herbal teas, you know, your sweeteners, your meats, your seafoods, if any. Because if you're blood type A, you don't have any highly beneficial meat, but you have a plethora of seafoods because you're more closer to being a vegan than anybody else. And this is why, you know, it's specific to your blood and this is why Everybody really can't be no vegan because you become a vegan and you're missing out on minerals. This is why also why vegans, they ain't, some, a lot of them ain't healthy because they don't know the highly beneficial foods for their, for their blood type. They just walling out and just eating everything that's fruits and vegetables and, you know, saying, yeah, I'm a vegan, but they still wearing glasses. You know, in the beginning of my journey, I, I, I had stumbling blocks, you know, even though I went cold turkey and stopped eating all meats. You know, and I cleaned out my pantry because I had been, you know, be experiencing sickness and I just wanted to change my diet. I didn't know what the heck I was going to eat. And so I would begin to just try anything 
anything that was green and nasty was really what I was going after. And some of those green, nasty things didn't even serve me. And one of which was kale. You know, kale is a superfood. But it will be later that I will find out based upon becoming an herbalist, being um, schooled as a student underneath my guru, that kale wasn't highly beneficial for my blood type. And so I left kale next day alone. <laughs> you know, I was forcing it down at first. And so, but it is highly beneficial for all, for O's rather. And so that's the thing, you know, we just like, we just live and then we learn. And so when people talking about, you know, um, you got to do this, this diet is for everybody and this going to do it. This, no, you have to drill down what people are saying based upon what your blood type is, because there's nothing new underneath the sun. You, well, our ancestors did this thing already. <laughs> and so us trying to reinvent the wheel with these, these little fad diets that come along, the little keto, keto, uh, damn near kill a, a blood type A, you know? Like these things that go viral and we just jump on it. Yep, yep, sure is. But there's always somebody in them comments of those things that's going viral that saying, no, that didn't work for me. That made me sick. And so what, what's wrong with that person? I mean, nothing is wrong with that person. That person has a different immune system. That person has a different bloodline. And they can't eat what you eat. And it don't matter if they're black or white. You know, we being black, I mean, I'm black here. I'm playing a role as a black woman in this physical reality and in this lifetime but it ain't no us when it comes to just black people you know we you know we eat like this we eat and hell no it i don't you know you know we like our soul food no because i realized the soul food is really killing your soul that's what i've discovered and so i don't partake on you know in the so-called and i'm from new orleans picture that i'm from new orleans and i when i was there i moved out of there last year but i've been there all of my life and so picture me saying to the new orleans folk nah uh, i don't want no crawfish no more nah what you put you put a little too much up in that gumbo uh-uh there's just too much going on you know picture that and so i guess i at that moment was a betrayer but what i was really doing i didn't care about being part of no culture being part of no soul food i decided i wasn't gonna betray me no more you know i wasn't gonna betray my gut no more my health no more Inst instead of <laughs> instead they i feel like they 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 pay attention to their tongue more they give the tongue all of the power the taste buds but you got to tame that thing because you know it might taste good just like a lot of snacks with high fructose corn syrup it tastes good because there's chemicals in there that's tricking your brain to thinking that you're wanting more of it and it's already sweet so it's addictive your brain being hijacked because of the high fructose corn syrup. And this is why we can't just eat just one of them. It's like, <laughs> it's like someone or something knows you more than you do. Someone is manipulating your mind to get you to cast like a stumbling block for you to tap into your greatest power, for you to be as healthy and, and vibrant and using your mind your sound mind <laughs> that is your birthright and you could you could get to the point where you say it's the government and you could say it's the commercial products you could say all of these things outside of you but when you get real with yourself you realize that that someone is you <laughs> you stopping you from getting to that love that power and sound mind that is your birthright you creating all of these things all of these obstacles in your own path in your own journey because life you life is a good quality of life and ain't, ain't walking around with no gout it's definitely ain't walking around with thyroid issues because i walked around with that it's definitely not being able to see nothing because i i one day did that it's definitely not taking a shower and pacing out because the water too hot and you have stagnated blood so much that it stopped you your blood from circulating so you hit the floor just by taking a hot shower. It's definitely not that because I did that. It's definitely not being able to run around with your children in your, in your late 20s because I did that, you know? And I reversed all of that and you can too. You can too, if you want to, when you're ready. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I 
Can you tell me what can be the light spots that's coming on your body other than skin tags? The light spots that's coming on your body? Or like when you, um, that's, that's, that's when your melanin has become toxic. The pigment of the skin is changing. See, melanin is very, very powerful. It's a healer, but when you're not eating right, then it is the worst thing. Like, for example, um, okay, like older people. Older people, normally nine times out of ten, they're old, elderly. They get to the point where their body becomes so brittle and calcified, so, like, they can't really tolerate the sun. Now, the sun is a healer. I sit, I live in the desert. I spend hours in the sun. Hours. It hydrates me. Even when I go to Florida, I, I, I get dropped off at the beach. People be wanting to go do this, that, and dirt. Bring me to the beach. I want to, I want to smell the healing microbes. I want to just lay on the beach in the sun and bake. And every so many hours, I'll go in the water and then go back and lay down on my towel and finish baking because that's how much I love the sun. That's how much my body is in tune with it. But when we become toxic, like an elderly person, or for example, and I'm just using an example, we can't tolerate the sun no more because there's too many toxicities in it. <laughs> and it, it's not recognizing that that's part of the source that we stem from because we ain't nothing but um, condensed versions of the sun, okay? Hence, we have melanin, right? And so our melanin really is supposed to be protecting us from the harmful rays of the sun, but being at the sun penetrating at us and we toxic within our melanin is working against us already in our body because we never made no kind of positive reaction with our blood and the food that we eat in. So now we have toxicity in our body. And so when the sun hit us, it's, it's detrimental for us. Now, you know, I'm just saying an older person. Now that old person, like, I can't, I can't bring me in the house, bring me in the house. I can't take it. Yeah, because they don't have the minerals that mimic the sun that's supposed to be in them no more. They calcify. And the sun is beaming on them as if it's like a foreign foreign thing, like, right? But they're supposed to have melanin. They're supposed to be protected by the sun. We are actually children of the sun. The darker the hue, the more tolerant we're supposed to be of it. But when we, it's the same way when we eat things that are against the grain of our blood type. There's so much toxicity there. Then now the blood is so toxic. The, the cells of the body are so toxic that it goes all to the skeletal um the shell of the body it goes to like the bones and the structure looking for calcium looking for magnesium looking for something that's gonna save your life so it sucks it it makes you bru bruise easily it gives you those little spider veins it'll take your skin color your melanin in your skin i i, I need that let me snatch that out you we need all of the melanin because the melanin is supposed to be the healer we need all of the melanin that we could get possibly get from wherever we can get it and so for people like that, I would highly suggest that they consume silica. Silica is a cousin of um, carbon, AKA melanin. And you get silica in your um, peppers. You can do a silica uh, supplement too, but you get silica in your, all of your highly beneficial foods on your food list, I tell you that. And things with color or hue, silica is there. Hence why I'm recommending all color peppers because the pe peppers, like the green pepper, the red pepper, the yellow pepper, the orange pepper, all of them got silica in there. And silica being the, color, the cousin of um, carbon will help you replenish or reproduce your melanin and have your melanin working for you. But at that point, it's time to do a whole lifestyle change. Whole lifestyle change, because that ain't just happened yesterday. That's been years. That's been years of eating the wrong type of food when your structure, like the people that have you know, what they call it, osteoporosis, you know, the humpback old people. Osteoporosis? Y'all know what I'm talking about with the vertebra bones and stuff. Just like the um, old people who break their hip, they're calcified. You know how when old people fall down and then they done, they break their hip and then they done because they're so calcified. Now, how did they get so calcified? Think about that logically. They got calcified because they got too much of calcium in the body. Magnesium supposed to be more than calcium. You see, this is how minerals and stuff work. They work in conjunction with others. If you missing one of them, then your body going to become more toxic in the one that's 
that's supposed to be less than. So now calcium is really in everything. They be adding calcium to freaking orange juice. You know, they'll add calcium to snacks. So it's calcifying this. You first of all, your first eye calcification in your pineal gland. This is your eye, the seat of your soul. But it also calcifies and hardens your arteries, your bones. So that's why old people just be like, they be so fragile and then they fall down. They, that's it. It's over. Because they, they already didn't have enough of magnesium in the body. That's why they were stiff like that. But then they break a hip. They done done. Because now the, the body in a negative for magnesium. The, the magnesium is needed to detox the body. Magnesium is needed for the flexible um, limbs. Magnesium is needed for the bones, for sleep, for everything. And them old people be lacking magnesium. Cancer people, they lack magnesium. It's about deficiencies. It's about not eating right for your blood type. We could talk about it, however, with your weight, but you just ain't eating right for your blood type. Congratulations to whoever that was that just purchased a meal plan. I feel so happy for you. Let me make sure. Let me see. I feel so happy for you. Let me see, because I'm hearing something. Yeah. Yeah. That was um somebody purchasing a meal plan. Congratulations, babe. I feel happy for y'all. Because I just really, really want to be part of the journey. I just love what I do. That's why I come on here to talk to y'all about it and encourage you to be in a better position than you once was. Yeah. Congratulations, Frank bless you come back on uh, I normally be here Frank if you're still here I normally be, be here at 10 a.m. Monday through Friday I'm late today because I had a lot of orders yesterday that I had to catch up on and 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 so here I am but yeah congratulations to you yeah let me see if I can get some more questions let me answer some over here um, Oh, I have a pin now. Can you tell me the name of the blood test? Eldon. E-L-D-O-N. I'm going to Amazon.com. Put in Eldon. E-L-D-O-N. Well, I guess it's backwards on my screen. The letter's going to be backwards. Eldon. Eldon card. Eldon. E-L-D-O-N. E-L-D-O-N. At home kit. That's his first step. Then you visit the website. So when you visit the website, when you find out your blood type rather, and you visit the website, you'll be looking for your blood type. You have to specify your blood type. So for example, the, the bundle right here, the third black board, which is the most valuable one and gives you the most that you need. Well, when you get there, it's going to ask you um, your blood type. Choose an option, it's going to say. And you see like right there? There's an A, B, O, whatever your blood type is, I'm going to just select the B. You put B there, you see, I selected B, and when you select B after that, you hit the pink, pink button that says um, add to cart. When you add it to cart, you're going to make sure that you put the proper email address because you're going to be getting this instant download instant download oh somebody telling me happy birthday my birthday was on the 19th and yeah, they just getting that because they're seeing that TikTok. but make sure you put your correct email address it was my point there when you make your order and make sure you're selecting the one that is your blood type but if your mother or father there is while i'm on here there is an option for you to get that last option right there that that last option says all blood types if you can see that all blood types so you can purchase all blood types by selecting that one. And that'll be for everybody in the family. You have a meal plan for everybody in the family. See, all blood types are, is selected. You have a meal plan. You have the highly beneficial foods, foods to avoid. You have the proper oils for everybody in the family. You'll know the juices, the nuts, the seeds, the um, condiments, the meats, the um, seafood, the dairy, if they could have any, the grains, the beans, legumes everything for everybody in the family and that way when you're cooking your whole meal maybe if you have an a up in that family you can leave out maybe the cayenne pepper and the heavy spices because the a's can't tolerate that on their sensitive stomach right 
maybe you can also put the meat on the side and maybe cook it in the oven if you have an egg because they don't really have any highly beneficial meats and you could maybe consume more fish which are lighter in their seafoods but eggs can tolerate them and so you as a mother or father could tweak the meal that way you're not being part of the reason why they body are getting inflamed because they are from a different bloodline and that don't mean it doesn't mean like you know an old can give life to an a is what i'm saying it don't mean just because you are old and everybody owes owes it a god bloodline keep that in mind and god can create anything okay god can create from every spectrum okay because just be so i'm saying that to forewarn you you could possibly have an a up in here just like black people can create albinos O's represent the God bloodline in the fact that they're the first man to walk on the physical in earth in the physical reality, so to speak. They're the giants. They're the Anunnaki gods, like right. And so all the other bloodlines that come underneath them are different, um, <laughs> different bloods based upon the line being tainted in a sense and mixing and matching of different people and different diets, different cultures, and different seasons in the in this land pretty much and so this is why for example i talk about the a's a lot because they're such an opposite from the o this is why the a's are more like asians right it's just a group different group of people that was in a different land and so the this this age this these a's their diet is symbolic of how the asians eat they eat more soy protein they eat more fish the asians might you know cook you some such and such at the restaurant where they own but they don't eat that stuff <laughs> they don't eat all of that stuff or when you you notice know to be true when you go get your nails done and they take their little break and they eat in something you know that they bought from home because they don't really deviate because other countries and cultures they know about this here here and you know about eating for your blood type here in the states we get so bamboozled and manipulated and you know the medical industry is so strong and so this is like new information but this is this is this is old information to like asians for example right in other cultures you're so welcome you're so welcome did i get everything over here um i was hospitalized for 30 days and i felt like i needed to sit in the sun and i felt so much better yeah because the sun is like us being charged like you know like you um, put the phone on a charge you know if you had a landline and you put it on that port to charge up we are condensed versions of that time and it recharges us when we're depressed that's why depressed people be in the house and they'll shut the window yeah because the window actually gonna give them life but they close it because they they want to feel and stay depressed <laughs> so to speak right they want to allow themselves to get out of alignment with themselves and they got to create that scene because we all just you know dipping in and out of you know different frequencies and it's okay to dip down low just like we dip down into aesthetic range with our body sometimes we want to play the role of being a depressed lady or man so being depressed, you want to run away from the sun is my point here. So you shut the window and you sit up in there in the room and you cry and you feel sorry for yourself. When it's really the game of life, and you're supposed to be playing to win. You're supposed to be having a good time along the way. You're supposed to be learning and in learning, you're learning yourself and learning how to manipulate energy. That's what this journey is all about. Yeah. So removing gallstones naturally, that's going to be a highly beneficial oil um when i first consumed mine my highly beneficial oil i laid back on the bed and it felt like marbles was just rolling down just coming from underneath here and i look i literally looked down at my shirt to see if i had something in my pocket you know i would be having shirts with a pocket right here i actually looked down and i'm like i don't have pockets but something but it felt so good oh my god because when it's when you know when, when your liver really toxic like mine was back in the day you could feel it when it, the gold stones are being released that is like almost a little orgasmic experience almost like yeah baby <laughs> so your highly beneficial oil will do that though yeah <laughs> it will you're so welcome yeah so i did that i answered that oh i got 99 comments right here okay i answered that 
How am I so far behind? Okay, I answered them. Let's see. Do you mix carrier oil on the bottle that you send or separately? So when I say mix it with a carrier oil, I'm saying the one that I send to you is really, really powerful. So when you use it, let's say you're about to put some oil, you, you got a toothache or you got the oil pool. You put a carrier oil on a, a teaspoon, right? Olive, walnut, whatever one you pick. Whatever one's good for you. And then you take the bottle that you purchased from me and you add about five drops of the alchemist oil to it. Because that oil that you got from me is undiluted and it will burn. So you dilute it by having a teaspoon of a carrier oil ready to dilute my oil into. And now it's good for you to use and it won't burn you. That's what I mean. That's a good question. Let's see. Let's see. You're so welcome. Vegetable bad. Vegetable oil? Yeah, you you wanna you want them you want them oils. Now you say the palm oil, the vegetable. Yeah, and the Lord. Since we own the oil, let's cover all the oils for Miss Bubba. The Lord, leave that one alone too, Miss Bubba. <laughs> the Crisco, yeah, let it go. Let it go. Don't go over there no more, Miss Bubba. Just let it go. Just let it go. Just be free. Because it don't mean you no good. Break that relationship up right now, Miss Bubba. Miss <laughs> Bubba won't know about the oil. You got your um, meal plan, Miss Bubba? How you doing on your journey? Tell me where you at. What you stumbling with? I, I hope you could get past that oil part. Because there's so many other things on there that's so good for you. What about your fruits, Miss Ball? Are you eating fruits and vegetables? You drinking any fruit juice to replenish your digestive enzymes? What blood type are you, Miss Barbara? That's what I need to know. Yeah, I also ordered my mom um, a blood test. Going to get her on track. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. And it's going to make her feel so good. I, I look out for my mom too. You know, they're the older generation and sometimes they be stuck in their ways. But I just get stuff and I just send it to her. Like, look, just, just eat it. Just take this. And don't ask no questions. And she'll be calling back, what the? You know that stuff? Oh, that show felt good. I'm like, mm hmm, I know. Uh huh. <laughs> Is this the same thing talking about this good without a gold platter? Of course, because you still need, even though you take things out of your body. Your body is infinite intelligence, and so you still need to be lubricating it so it can go down another pathway. You still got to release toxins even without it. Just like the people that take out their goals, I mean, they um tonsils, you got to go through another pathway. That's part of your lymphatic system. The lymphatic system still have to filter. So yeah, it's no 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 problem, no problem at all. That's the best thing that you can do. Because if not, you become locked up. You need stuff like that in your life. That's a great question. I just started doing that to get more of the sun as medicine and I love it. I love it too. That's why I changed. You remember I was in the kitchen, the kitchen back there, but I wanted to be faced this here way because the sun comes in this way. You can see nature and stuff. Granted, it's not the same amount of lux energy because you measure sun energy by lux frequencies. So you get more lux energy when you're in direct sunlight. That's the more healing frequency that you'll get. But still, I'm getting some Lux energy right now because it's reflecting from over there. And, it, and then this way, now I don't have to sit there with that light trying to look at the words and stuff because the, you know, the little ring light, I don't have that. I got the natural sunlight and it's perfect. The sun is a healer. We're condensed versions of the sun. We are children of the sun. Don't, don't sleep on that part. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. What about potassium? What about it? Um, good to know. Okay, Miss Ball, please. Okay, potassium. What about it? You asked me where to get it from. If you need it, you lower on it. Potassium is in the pink, the pink Himalayansi salt. Pink Himalayansi salt is high in potassium. The Celtic gray salt is high in, in magnesium. So for the people that have high blood pressure, I would suggest that they use the gray. People that low on potassium, use the pink. People that's low on potassium and magnesium. First, you need to be detoxing because something is robbing you of all your little minerals up in there. I would suggest you purchase the same detox. But then I would say use both pink and the gray 
salt and get rid of no matter who you are and what you got going on get rid of all white salt now get rid of all blends of of seasonings that say salt because they put in white salt in there if it don't say sea salt that means it's white toxic salt with two minerals then that's leading to a lot of people having high blood pressure right there the wrong kind of salt or them thinking oh i'm gonna cut back on salt and not use so well guess what you the salt of the earth so now what if you don't be just like in a biblical text you are the salt of the earth if the salt loses savor, wherefore will it be salted? It'll be good for nothing but to be trampled over by men. And yeah, pretty much. When you let go of all salt, you're still getting toxic salt when you get some potato chips. You're still getting toxic salt when you go to that fast food place or the restaurant. So now you're not getting none of the good. So at home, make sure in your cupboard that you have salt with color. And take all of them shake seasons that have regular white salt and get rid of that. Back in New Orleans, we had one called Tony Sastry. Tony Sastry had salt, the first ingredient, the third ingredient, the last ingredient. It was just high pressure, high blood pressure waiting to happen. And to Tony, it was, it tastes good though. But the people there use those type of seasonings. And everybody that I know in New Orleans got high blood pressure, the gout, diabetes, <laughs> kidney issues, or something. They got something. We got flavor in our food from all this white salt. But we got to do better. We got to pay attention to things like that. Salt that has been um, stripped of all of its minerals just leave you with sodium and chloride. Pink salt or gray salt has 80 plus minerals. So they got the people, which one you think is thriving? The person that's using the one with two minerals? Or the person that got 80 going through them? You know, you got to just think about it. Think about it. It matters. These little things matter. So true. I'm an O and I have four B's and three A's. See there? See there? It, that Because you, cause, cause you, you God. <laughs> God can create anything. You know? Yeah. So you're welcome. You're welcome. I felt like I took some medication and something felt so good. Yeah. I would actually be taken outside every day. Yeah. Yeah. Do we need the iodine? Um, well, yes, you do because iodine is definitely needed in the for the thyroid. You do need iodine, but pink and gray is not salt, so not where you're getting your iodine from. You should be getting your iodine for proper thyroid function from your sea vegetables, and those should be incorporated in your diet. Sustained detox once again has um, the sea vegetables in there. Um, your meal plan, regardless of what blood type, sea vegetables are on there and they're highly beneficial for all blood types. So you need to incorporate them in your, in your um, diet some kind of way. Or you can get you some kelp seasoning, some shake kelp seasoning in conjunction to the little shake seasonings that you use. And you season your food with it and that way you get your sea vegetables. They sell um, kelp seasoning. You can look that one up on Amazon too. Uh, lucky me, I'm an O with a house full of O's. There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. I love it. <laughs> I love it. But the thing about the O's, though, is when it's time for stress, oh, my God, that cortisone level increase, and it's like you got to just walk away from them when they get mad. Lord, I got some O's in this house, too. My God, today is like, you don't, do you want to be in a room with an angry God? That's the question of the day. <laughs> <laughs> with an angry God, the wrath of God, Lord have mercy. Be like, man, go sit yourself down somewhere. Yeah, with the bug bee, how do I use it? With the bug bee, um, what you mean? Quit bugging me. You can bathe with it. You can consume it in water, and you just drinking it. That if you, that's what you're saying. Unless there's a typo there, I'm assuming that you're saying quit bugging me. That's the name of one of my products. It's a parasite cleanse. Quit bugging me goes well in conjunction with um, the alchemist oil because to do, together both of them will kill the adult baby worms in every stage of parasites by dehydrating them. So you must stay hydrated with that. You must stay hydrated with that because it's suffocating them. It's high in silica. We were just talking about silica for the 
lady that was talking about the um the spot on the skin labels in the color of the skin yeah so quit bugging me is high in silica and which is the cousin of carbon and it helps to replenish the body heal the body it's almost like you're taking care of your melanin by consuming silica rich products but at the same time silica destroys parasites in the body too and so the parasites will get dehydrated from this silica when and quit bugging me and they will die if you don't drink water now you have their parasites sitting inside of you and you're going to start feeling die off effects from them so you must drink a lot of water the average adult needs to be underneath like a gallon just right there underneath the gallon depending upon your weight so don't just drink no reverse osmosis don't drink no distilled water drink water with minerals go to goddess just be healthy page it's pinned at the top how to manipulate your spring bottled water yourself at home in an effort to have some water with electrolytes with magnesium with sodium bicarbonates with silica that it needs that your body needs to detox That'll be the richest form of spring water that you can make at home and that you won't be emptying your pocket so much trying to buy Evian water and, you know, them high waters that's so freaking overrated when you could do it yourself. Yeah, this is my problem. I don't need to see about my spots is eat peppers. I need to, oh, this this is my problem. I do not need to go see a about my spots is e peppers. I guess that's what you're saying is that your problem is you need to change your diet. That's what you're saying, Ms. Ball. But yeah, you need to you need to make sure you're getting that silica up in there. You need to be manipulating your water too to make sure you're getting silica in your water too. And yeah, you need the all of it and and your meal plan. You need to be strict to that diet because you're saying a lot of different things going on, and that just lets me know that you've been off track for a while too. Um, okay, let's see. I will get that play. I'm just trying to get them to lower my doses on my medicine. Oh, okay. Oh, you saying you'll get the plan? So you oh, you on medication? Okay. Well, whenever you're ready, whenever you're ready, you take your time. Whenever you're ready, mm -hmm. you you almost there. You'll be oh, B, you, well, hell, you can bounce back. This barber B is balanced. B is a balance. You can escape sickness and disease easily, because you have hydrochloric acid naturally. <laughs> but bees, we gotta watch out for the wrong type of oils. And you gotta, you gotta make sure, be mindful of all of them, them, them different medications the people got you on now. Cause the body ain't gonna be recognizing no, no rocks. I call pills rocks now. You taking rocks and stuff in the body like, what is this? Could we please have something from nature that we stem from? Can we please have some herbs, some fruits and vegetables, please? That's highly beneficial for our blood type, please. That's what your body's saying, please. Could you cut this out? Um, but, but that's what the body is saying to you. <laughs> so whenever you want to hear or answer it, it'll be waiting. That, that information will go down when you start answering. This is my first time here greeting. Greetings, user 8743. Thank you for being here. I'm B. What should I be doing? You know you B. The next step is for you to go to the website and get your meal plan. So you can know what to avoid and what to do. I laid it all out for you. You have your highly beneficial oil. You have your highly beneficial potion. The website is right here. Soul of the Earth Pub .org. You have to put dot org at the end. And so I don't know if you're trying to lose weight in between or whatever else it is, but you'll have everything. You'll know why you're getting inflamed back and forth over and over. You don't even know why you're really depressed. It's the food. It's the food you're eating. It's, if you be your chicken, your chicken, I can tell you now, chicken and pork, just say bye-bye and get your meal plan and learn the, the highly beneficial meats because chicken and pork don't serve you as a bee. And Miss Bob, if you eat your chicken and pork, shame on you, Miss Bob. <laughs> Leave that alone. You know, I, I know another bee and, and with the, this other bee that I know just won't let go of that darn chicken. 
And I'm like, do you understand that as a bee, you have a level of cortisone that's in your body all the time? And so being that you have this cortisone level already, that you just be ready to just, you know, go off. And they do be ready to go off. And they get, you know, depressed a little bit, sad a little bit from time to time. And I'm like, you know why? Because every time you fool around going back with that chicken, you already stressed because naturally you have cortisone levels that are just normalized throughout the day. But then you take and eat chicken, which causes you inflammation. So now when you get inflamed, guess what happens? Your serotonin, if you had any, your dopamine go down, womp, 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 and you're depressed. So now you got cortisone shooting through your body, the stress, stress hormone. Then you got inflammation so now you're acidic you're on fire now your serotonin level down now you don't want to do nothing you just won't sit there and your dopamine effect just missing in action right so you sad no wonder why you sad and just laying here and talking about you don't want to do nothing it just spirals down y'all it spirals down and so that's why i said about them oh lord just to be up in the wrath of god they get their high peak of uh, cortisone um, spikes when they get mad, like, right? And so when they get mad, it's like, they go crazy for like a while. And then all of a sudden, they back. And they be the same ones, but I'm, I'm sorry, you know, cause da 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 da. But boy, when they was mad, it was like, like God himself, Rawr! like Lord of mercy. But that's how cortisone levels work in O's versus, you know, in a bee so to know thyself is to know god baby that's all i can say about it and so it matters what you put in your body it's castor oil good for anything <sighs> castor oil is known to be good for circulation topically internally you know back in the day you know the grandmas and the great grandmas of the world they consume castor oil, you know, to help them go to the bathroom, you know, to um, to lubricate their inside. But it wasn't that, it does work for that, to help go to the bathroom. It's just that it's not highly beneficial for you. You know, any oil is going to still have its lubricant abilities, but it's just what happens act afterwards, so, you know. So, yay and nay for that. You know, externally, I still think it'd be good. Like if somebody have like, um, like a clogged liver, for example, and they did those little hot, um, compacts, you know, how they do the castor oil on one of them galls, pads, whatever, and they'll heat it up. And that's mostly, you know, to soften up them, the, um, the calcification, you know, to the heat helps to, you know, to the pain or the stiffness in that particular area to get things moving past the you know the gall bladder duct but that's about all that i can see castor oil being really really good for externally because as far as the minerals and stuff a lot of the castor oils anyway are stripped of that you know they they selling the bare minimum the little light little almost golden looking castor oil and so it's still even with that in mind still not highly beneficial for all blood types or really any <laughs> to be consuming you know but it, it, it would make you go to the bathroom but everything that make you go to the bathroom don't mean it's good for you <laughs> right so um let's see um yeah this is if it don't have no color yeah then yeah that one ain't, ain't the best one either as far as the salt let's see they got anything hello over here hey 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 with love hey 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 let's see oh the comments just jumped oh here hey hey uh do we need the iodine that's in salt oh yeah and yes iodine is needed for a proper um thyroid function yes you do hey 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 hello hey 66 how you doing today that's true. I don't get angry often, but when I do, I already know. <laughs> well, I already know. I already know. 
It takes a while for me to calm down. I already know, because that's how your stress hormone as an old operates. So, it is what it is. Like I say, I, I live with, with them olds. I live with them, so I already know. Um, huh? How are you going to be able to do that? That's interesting. Can you get a blood test online to see your blood type? You mean... You could, yeah, the way I told you earlier, by Amazon, by ordering it online and having them deliver it to your house. And then you do it in your home to yourself by pricking your ring finger. Or you can online set up an appointment with Quest Diagnostic. It's going to be about five times the amount of the first option. and But then you may happen to go down there for, you know, the nurse the phlebotomist to prick your finger and let them send it to you the results or whatever yeah <sighs> is that why when i took wormwood i started feeling horrible because of die all oh yeah because they're dying in the air they dying you messing with them yeah like an ant pile you put your foot on an ant pile you know walking through just accidentally and they start moving around so just imagine that's kind of like what's going on in the inside of a person that have a whole bunch of mold and old fecal matter and parasites. They're going to start moving around like, ah, like that raid commercial. Raid! You know, that's how the parasites going to be. And so they're running around kind of like, and this is why people feel the crawly sensation. They'll feel bloated. They'll feel sicky. They'll feel like they want to throw up because not only are they just crawling around, but just kind of like a fly, you know how a fly secrete when it lay down on something you know it'll secrete well oh lord i'm getting nauseous talking about this here <laughs> wait because i gotta tell y'all something after this here that happened to me yesterday speaking of a fly it'll secrete and um it'll lay you know stuff you know well that's how parasites do they secrete larvae and eggs and you know trying to build for the next life of colonies of, of more parasites so they won't die off but you'll be feeling the die off effect it's called the Hertzheimer effect that happens when you do a parasite cleanse and sometimes when you do a parasite cleanse not only is it coming out of your bowel but some people will get it coming out of their ears the little um tear duck out the nose you know i'm talking about a little squeaky little worm trying to come out of your eyeball because it'll try to come out of any exit that you can find especially if you backed up that's why i highly suggest that you drink the right type of water and you consume you some lemon in, in the key lime to help open up your pathways and burst through um the um adrenal glands to get that the masses up out of there so the the lymphatic system will be on your side helping you filter and catch the pathogens and toxins to exit them out faster so you won't have to go through all of that stay hydrated when you detoxing is what i'm saying don't you sit there and drink no little cup of water talking about oh yeah i had some water no i'm talking about damn near a, a gallon just get to drinking just swallow the, the the pills on the sustained detox and just get to gulping and just gulp all day until it's time for you to swallow and then you gulp all day the next day too <laughs> just i'm telling you you want to get that out you want to hydrate the inside so that way your bowel movement ain't hard and ain't stuck and can't come out because if it can't come out then them dead parasites ain't gonna be able to come out and you're gonna be full of crap on another level but anyway speaking of when i got nauseous in my mouth yesterday y'all i gotta tell y'all this so i honestly don't really have a fear of many things but flies oh my god i can't stand a fly and I'm trying to make mentally peace with it because I understand that I, I don't like it and I seem like I attract them everywhere. Yesterday, man, I was sitting outside in the sun and I'm just minding my own freaking business and a freaking fly came over by me and I'm like, get your ass. Because I talk to them. I talk to them. I fuss at them. Don't you touch me because I know what they do. Like, right? Maybe I know too much. <laughs> I know that they secrete and stuff, and I know that they be on little shit packets and stuff, and by horses and stuff, and the cows that away. Oh, I just know they nasty. I'm sitting there in the sun, 
the freaking fly buzzing all around and that sucker flew right here and touched my eyelash i wanted to cut the whole eyelash off y'all i was seriously contemplating just cutting the sucker off and i knew it was gonna go grow back because i know how to grow hair so i was gonna cut that sucker off i felt like my eye was just shitty <laughs> So I put all kind of stuff. I had all kind of solutions that I had washed my face with last night. And I, I kept getting up to wash my eye. It was this one right here. And now I, I don't even feel like it's normal no more since that shitty ass fly with his nasty ass just flew right there. It is almost like they just be messing with me sometimes. And I got to fix my mind. This, now I got to meditate and manifest. <laughs> piece with the damn fly because I'm attracting this crap because I think it's fly season this is my first time being out here at this time of the year but the flies are so plentiful out here in Arizona right now and that sucker flew right there and I honestly I ain't gonna lie I feel like my right eye is my shitty eye at this point I don't put I don't put my highly beneficial oil in my eyeball <laughs> Red vibes and salt water. I done did all kind of stuff to lubricate it to make sure I got all of the shit crumbs that the stinky fly could have secreted when it passed my eyeball. It was horrible, horrible. But that's why I had got nauseous. Is what I was when I was talking about parasites because I thought about them nasty flies. <laughs> the nasty. <laughs> hey. I'm so serious. That's just the nastiest thing. He gonna touch my eye. Well, all the things he gonna touch, he gonna touch my eyeball. Lord. And I woke up looking all in my eye. I'm like, is it okay? Like, is it torture? Because I had shit on it yesterday. <laughs> yeah. No, it's too loud. Okay, sometimes. Okay, I've been away from chicken going on three months. Oh, good for you. No, right now there isn't an active coupon code. I did one for my birthday, though. I'll have one upcoming soon. But today I don't have any. All of those are um, ex expired. You're so right. I'm old. My family is sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we do get sick of y'all. For real. For real, we do. I know I do. Um, yeah, go to Amazon.com. Amazon.com to get your Eldon, E-L-D-O-N, at home kit. Um, can you drink wormwood while nursing? I would have suggest while nursing to, to do that. You know, the time was kind of like prior to. Um, I wouldn't suggest that. Mm -mm. The prior to or after you get off of there. I mean, after you finish nursing. Can I take the same bundle and quit bugging me at the same time or one at a time? No. Hey, grateful. <laughs> oh, you heard my story about the, um, about the nasty fly. Yeah, you could take um, both of them, but you have to. Now you really, really have to um, drink a whole bunch of water. If it becomes too much for you and you know because you get tired or get dehydrated, you cut back. But you can. Do not try to take no extra, though. You can, but be easy with yourself. Pay attention to your body. Listen to your body first. And so if you get too achy during that process, because that's a that's that might be a, um, too much, depending upon how toxic you are, it might be too much of a um, die-off effect. If you get too achy, that means cut back. That means skip that next dose and drink some more water and impl implement the key lime in the um, lemon aid. Key lime or lemon, they're highly beneficial. Key lime? Key lime or lemon are both highly beneficial for all blood types. So it doesn't even matter what blood type you are. But yeah, be easy with yourself. Relax when it's time to relax, you know? All that. You got to tell the flies you love them so they'll stay away. I know, I got to love them, but they full of shit. And I don't love them. <laughs> In the universe, no, I don't love them. No, you can't lie. Your energy can't lie because I'll be out there like, where is Ace at? You know, in my mind. And there you go. I'll be manifesting them. They, they probably ain't even plenty for ain't nobody else out, but they ain't over by mine because they know I don't like them. Okay, let me stop saying it so, so I can make peace with this resistance that I'm creating. <laughs> my mom hated to fly until she get them outside of the house she would not yeah yeah it's the craziest thing it's the crazy 
They prowling out here. Oh yeah, yeah. But anyway, but my eye okay. It, it do look normal, huh? <laughs> I got enough of oil in it. I got enough of oil. I did. I did olive oil. I put coconut oil. I did a sea salt wash. I, I, I did. I did sodium bicarbonates in the water. I did all kind of stuff to that eyeball. <laughs> Get that shit up off of there. 